wrong. <laughs> yeah. He delivered them wrong. Well, no, can I just say, June 30th was actually my mum and dad's wedding anniversary. That's why I got mixed up. Oh, okay, uh, okay. But, That's but it was June 40th. You were right, Shane. You were right. Thanks a minute. You're a good winner. So do you, do you sit in the car and think, oh, God, if I get asked again about... What's the one question you say? Brian, Brian coming Brian. back. Okay. Ah, for God's sake. Take that jumped in a fire. It doesn't mean we have to do it. Well, here, I'll tell you what. I have listened to Take That's New Album, and I've had to listen to your album, and your album... New album is better. Really? Thank yeah. you very much. You said it, not us. Uh, yeah, how about that? Take that There's something in the mic right there. Take it out. Chicken stone. Chicken thing. <laughs> it sounds nothing like old Take That. Uh, Gary Barlow's only on, I think, two tracks, and uh, it's loads of Robbie. Yeah. yeah. Don't get it. How'd you get on with them last weekend at the x they're, uh, Listen, they're great guys. They're very nice. Um, you know, Who was better on the telly? Uh, we say JLS and B. Well, what's the story with <laughs> no, your with your pyrotechnics? <laughs> it all went ter- pear shaped, didn't it? We had a much bigger, we had a much bigger yeah. um, set. And we smoked um, out the whole studio. Really? <laughs> so you nearly wrecked the whole show. The whole place, like the whole <laughs> studio, had to be back around. What happened? What did Simon what think what of that? We had, we had, we actually had a much bigger set, and they wanted to because we were live because the show is live. Obviously, they didn't have enough time to strike our set right. and to put take that set in place. Yeah. To put any set in place, they didn't have enough time to strike our set full stop in order for the show to start again. To put take so that on the zero frames in place to takes a bit of time. Do you want to hear the story? Of course we do, yeah. yeah. Right, so we had to strike a lot of our production. So that was the first problem. And then the what second does strike it mean, Keith? <laughs> strike it, Mark. Here, hang on a minute. You're all very tense to do that here. This is, is this the okay, game. We lads? shouldn't have played the we're game. We should have finished with the game. We're on edge. We're on edge. Our album is out. And we're on edge and waiting for the chart position. Oh, are you? And then we could use all the pyrotechnics, you know, <laughs> like going back well, to my story. Come here, four nights in the O2, you could do more. Is it I possible will, that I, you're going to do more? I think yes. we will be doing more. Well, you're even on our board. Rumour has it, we Go might on. be doing more. Go on, tell us. Well, it's not a You are doing more, I did the voiceover. <laughs> 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 we, know, we know before, you guys. <laughs> Take some more, <laughs> the 53104. <laughs> <laughs> no, takes a gig to five two and a five. Definitely doing five. It takes a gig, yeah. We're definitely doing five. The fourth one has sold out, so wow. we're definitely doing five. Um, so fingers crossed, you know. We might even go to six if it sells out. It, it all we'll keep on. going. Keep yeah. on rocking. Why not? Sixty six if we can. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever going like to top sixty six. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your fair playing? The old two or crow bar? Well, we've never played the old two. There you go. Right. Well, it's it's we've done like we had the old record in the Point Depot, which is great. Yeah. yeah. And we've done two nights in crow in the last. Three years, two years. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we, we'd like to do obviously the outdoor we're doing, and then the Aviva is something else we've. Uh, we discussed the Aviva this year. We just thought it was right to go back indoors and do. Um. To, you know, we had, we had such a good kind of history, fun with the point, and the, the fans were great. It's so it's much closer now. Obviously, yeah, yeah. the O2, we've done like Child Line in the O2, we're doing Child Line again this year, yeah, yeah. but we've never actually done a Westlife gig in the O2, uh, so that's going to be that's going to be great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you, are you do you get on? I know there's a bit of tension, the <laughs> <laughs> but do you, do you all get on? You do, you, we get on who, very well. You yeah, do, we you must do for this this long to be still rocking together. I think that's why we're still together because we are genuinely friends outside of it all. We still kill each other like, like brothers do, and yeah, know, yeah. The same kind of relationship as brothers, yeah, yeah. I suppose, but um, you're uh, my brother of mine. <laughs> 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 after after work, we do occasionally go to the cinema together and go for dinner. Do you go for pints? Yeah, Kios. Nikki and Shane go to the cinema all the time. Yeah, <laughs> do they? <laughs> they, they, get, they get the love <laughs> seats. Shane, Shane is my gay best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are gay best friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how does that work when you're in Dublin and he's in Sligo? No, this is in London. We actually meet in Dublin. You go to Longford. <laughs> it's, it's only half a romance. The love seats in the Longford gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I'd say you keep them on the straight and narrow, Marty. Do you tell them to cop on when they're getting out of hand? Um, no. <laughs> who's the who's the boss? Is there is there anyone I'm in charge? You're the boss, are you? I'm the boss. It's the quiet one they say is the boss. That's what like Larry Mullen never says much in the interviews, but then. He's in charge. Ian's definitely Nicky not the quiet one. Head. Nicky scratching his head. Oh, what's what's so what's the best song on the album? And who wrote it? There's a few Who's the best songwriter? There's a few good Mark's the best Mark's probably the best songwriter. Well done, Mark. We get uh, one of these for them. Well done. See, when you say who's the best, and who, I'd never get anything going my way. I'm going to throw it. Nicky, you feel free to jump in. You're still talking. You were the best You were the best Dubliner. Well done. You're the best Dubliner. The old Dubliner. He's the best Zub in the band. Mark called him earlier on the shaper. Nicky is the shaper of the group. Who have you written songs for? You've written loads, haven't you? No, I've written, I've just, well, I've just written for, I've written loads of songs, but, um. few for Rihanna and people like that, you know? Yeah, umbrella. Have you ever heard of that? Are you modest? <laughs> no, <laughs> um, no I, honestly, I've written songs for years, but I've like literally only last year started sort of writing and pr- actually playing them to people. And you know, he's written a song in this album that's possibly our second single called "I Will Reach You." Okay. It's track four in the I'll album, and it's a fantastic song. This album is—is is this—is this your best album? 
Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Now you would say that though, wouldn't you? No, we would, yeah. and you're right, and we have every other time. But yeah. We actually mean. It <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't mean the it. Before. Before. <laughs> they don't believe us this time. What's uh, what's on the cover? What's the cover like? Is the picture of you? Max, I've got my picture. My there legs quite wide. There it is. It's what a wide lens. Nicky's yeah. spread eagle. Legs. Here's the album now. Look at this. Okay, so oh. show it to them there. Show it oh, yeah. to them there. the viewers there. Then. <laughs> how, so, how would you there describe it? it? Uh, I describe it as. You uh, think you're the Beatles? Black and white. Well, there's a. Well, it's because there's four of them. That's the first thing he's. he's <laughs> and they're all men, Jim. Yeah. Uh, well, they're all men. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. good. I, I Keep going. His birthday with John Lennon. John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Paul McCartney? <laughs> isn't isn't you're one, the isn't songs? Julian or Sean's on the same day as well? Sean, I think, as well. Yeah. Uh, Shane is using. Uh, Shane is using Nicky as a, as a handsome. Nicky's the best <laughs> leaner on her. It's very casual, Shane, there on the it front. It is, like, very very like everyone else looks, you know, <laughs> they're giving it a pose. We're just like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'll I, I just <laughs> <think> <laughs> <and> <laughs> it Jim, Nicky, we're upside okay. down on the inside. Upside down? Look at that. that. You've really gone mad. You've gone to town on that one. We're inside out, too, in the next one. Did, were you lying down or was the photographer lying down for that we're one? We were lying down. We were lying down. Excellent. And then chairs. Look at that thing that you drop on your stool. No stools. No stools. Chairs. The truth is, the lads gave me some stick when we're sitting down in interviews because my leg is kind of my legs are kind of spread quite wide. But I find that the most comfortable. However, I am exaggerating on the. What's with all the legs spreading though? I just find it uncomfortable to sit like that. Yeah. That kind of could be a sign of small balls though, because like you could. No, 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 it's not. No, I'm with Nicky. You can tuck them up if you cross your legs or whatever. You can't tuck them up. Obviously, just sitting there right in between your legs. Cross your legs. Is it the trousers, Nicky? Maybe the trousers are too tight. Small balls. Well, I've had it since Small balls. If you have small balls. Right. And even traction bombs I need to spread. So, like. <laughs> I don't know. Here we go again. Nicky's pretending he's in his jocks back at home now. <laughs> Nicky Small Balls, that's going to be the nickname. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, first night of the O2. Nicky Small Balls. Nicky Small Balls. No. Yes, we want banners, everyone. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Uh, yes, listen. we do. Okay, you do. Sorry, you do. So, listen, uh, it's been great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, I believe you're going to be here around Christmas time, maybe Christmas Day, actually doing your own little show. Yeah, of course, we're going to come in especially on Christmas Day. Yeah. Doing our own show. So, everybody. Nicky, at home Nicky you already haven't told him yet. Really yeah, enjoy it. I haven't, actually. No. <laughs> And we'll talk about it. The when boss doesn't know exactly what's going on. <laughs> when you're doing the four nights or six nights or twelve nights in the O2, where are you going to be, st be staying? Local around here? Because we're, we're, we're in the FM 104 studio. Why don't you call it? We're only around the corner, around the back of it. Hotel just there. Right. Well, listen. When you are playing that uh, the O2, all those nights, and best of luck with them. Come in and see us again, William. We'll have yeah. another Westlife competition. We'll have better questions. We'll deliver them better. We'll make sure Nicky wins. We need buzzers that we can press. Like we'll get buzzers. The game needs more structure than yeah. What I found funny about You're right. Right, about that I got right. Shane's birthday wrong. Yeah. And he got quite annoyed. He he's, he's still got, irked. Look at him. He's, he's, his body language there is like. He actually got mm. my birthday wrong as well. Lads, uh, best of luck with the album. Continued success. Thank and you. the album's going to be massive, uh, regardless of uh, what album cover you had on or it. What we it's, a very, it's a very classy album cover. It's going to be huge. Westlife. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, guys. See you, lads. The Stuff.